Hi, today we're going to make vegan chili and you're going to like it more than any other chilies because all the flavor coming from the spices, the herbs and that's what makes anything taste great. Okay, we have the chili, the beans, we have the beans, we have tomatoes, uh, corn, onion, cilantro, jalapeno, red bell pepper, scallion, chili powder, ground coriander, and cumin, and last but not least is one garlic. The reason not out of garlic because we just want a hint of flavor, not overpowering the dish. So we're going to start first by sauteing these onion and then add to them the tomatoes and the beans. So we have olive oil. I only use olive oil and I would say that anything that hasn't shown any side effect for 5,000 years, it's good for you. So I stick with olive oil. So we have olive oil. It's ready to saute with the onion and saute them for about 5 minutes or more in low to medium heat. When the onion is ready, add two cups of diced tomato with a little bit of sauce, two cups of cooked kidney beans, and then we have about a cup and a half of corn. There's some black beans in it. And then two cups of water. And just some salt. And take it easy with salt. You can always add at the meal while you're eating. And bring it to a boil. So while the chili is boiling, you heat some olive oil and in this olive oil we're going to saute the red pepper, jalapeno pepper, cilantro, the garlic and then the spices. So we're going to wait until the oil is ready. This one started to boil. Obviously it's not ready. So oil is ready, we add the red bell pepper. And you don't want to cook it for a long time because you want it to be crunchy. The one I don't like to ever overcook my vegetables. Jalapeno, cilantro, and I love cilantro, so be generous. The garlic, just stir it a little bit to blend it in, and then add your cumin. It's about one tablespoon of ground cumin, one teaspoon of ground coriander, and then about one teaspoon with chili powder. You can put more if you like it spicier. That's it. You turn your chili to medium to low and add. your chili medium low for five minutes and your chili will be done so we have our chili just look at it I think you can even smell all these wonderful things through the camera just spoon into your dish this is fresh cilantro French fresh not French fresh scallion see how nice and beautiful this and then ideally you should wait a little bit before you sample because it's very hot I know I'm going to burn my mouth but it's worth it for you guys it smells great tastes even better bon appetit